Welcome to this product demonstration of Xprotect Mobile, Milestone's free application for smartphones and tablets, available as a download from the Android Market and the App Store. Specially designed by Milestone for all Xprotect products, Xprotect Mobile enables you to effectively monitor your Xprotect video system from anywhere at any time. This video will walk you through the great functions and features of Xprotect Mobile using an iPhone. Before you can start using Xprotect Mobile, you will need to download two items. First, go to Milestone's website and download and install the free Xprotect Mobile server component to your video recording server or system. Next, you will need to download the free Xprotect Mobile application from the App Store. Once this is complete, a small Milestone logo icon will appear on your device screen. By pressing this icon, Xprotect Mobile will start. Please note, in order to access the full functionality of Xprotect Mobile, your device must be connected wirelessly or via network. When starting Xprotect Mobile for the first time, you will need to add one or more Xprotect Mobile servers in order to retrieve and see video from your cameras. To add an Xprotect Mobile server, press Edit, then press Add Server. In this new window, fill in the required server details and then press Done. The Xprotect Mobile server is now listed in alphabetical order under the Servers tab. If you want to retrieve video from additional servers, simply repeat these steps. You can add as many Xprotect Mobile servers as you like as long as you have the login credentials for them. Now that you've successfully added your Xprotect Mobile server, you're able to see live video from your cameras on your Apple device. Press the server that you want to see video from and select the view you want to look at. Remember, the views displayed in Xprotect Mobile are taken directly from the Xprotect Smart Client, so there's no need for you to add or create any views yourself. If you do not have any views set up in an installation or you want a view of all cameras connected to your system, you can always use the All Cameras View selection. You can always add more views using the Xprotect Smart Client. When you have selected the appropriate view, the cameras will be shown and you can swipe through the list of cameras at your location. If you want to take a closer look at one of the cameras, press the camera's thumbnail and the camera view will be shown in full screen. From here, you will also be able to digitally zoom in the image by using Pinch to Zoom. Pinch to Zoom works in live and playback view. Please note that you will also have the possibility to view your video in landscape view by rotating your device. In full screen mode, you can take a still image and save it for later use or investigation. To do this, simply press on the snapshot tab. From here, you have the option to save the image in the photo library on your device and later send it via MMS or email, or you can send it immediately by choosing the action sheet, send over email. In full screen mode, you can also enter playback mode and search in your recordings. To do this, press the playback tab. From here, you can search in your recordings from that specific camera using the dedicated control buttons. You also have the option to go directly to a time specific slot by choosing the menu button and then selecting the action sheet, go to time, in order to use the time picker to select a particular time and date. As you can see, you will also get a picture-in-picture -picture view. This means you will see a full screen view of the recorded video, while at the same time a smaller image will show live video from that same camera. With a picture-in-picture -picture view, you can see current video feeds and investigate an incident at the same time, providing you with situational awareness. In order to return to full screen live viewing, just press the Live button. From here, you can enter the view layout again by pressing the close button. If you have any pan-tilt zoom or PTZ cameras connected to your installation, you can also control them through Xprotect Mobile. In order to enable PTZ control, you need to go into full screen mode, showing live view, and then press the PTZ tab. PTZ control buttons will show up on your screen, and by using the controls, you can pan, tilt, or zoom the camera. I have now shown you how to use the great features of Xprotect Mobile. We hope that you've enjoyed it and learned how to access the various functions. If you want to learn more about Xprotect Mobile and how to get started, visit our website.
where you will find additional information and videos about our world-leading Xprotect video surveillance software. Thank you for watching the Xprotect Mobile product demonstration.